Russia never gives up anyone to anybody and is not planning to. The blunt words today of Russia's President Putin as the US whistleblower Edward Snowden continues his extended stopover in Moscow airport. His hopes of travelling on to Ecuador seeming to have dimmed. Snowden is now seeking asylum in Russia. But Mr Putin says that will only be considered if he stops inflicting damage to our American partners. Our international editor Lindsay Hilson reports on the mixed messages coming from Moscow. Just last week, he was the world's most wanted man. But today, it seems he's the least wanted. Edward Snowden, whistleblower, spiller of American secrets, living apparently in no man's land at a Moscow airport, has reportedly applied to 15 countries for asylum, including Russia, whose leader is surprisingly unsympathetic. If he wants to go somewhere and someone will accept him, that's fine. If he wishes to stay here, then we have one condition. He must stop his work aimed at harming our American partners. Although that sounds very strange coming from me. It's just because he positions himself as a fighter for human rights, and he's not going to stop this activity. So he has to choose the country for himself and go there. Snowden landed in Moscow from Hong Kong last Sunday, arousing suspicions that he might be a spy. He's now an obstacle to delicate diplomatic relations. He revealed the U.S. National Security Agency program PRISM that collects data on domestic and foreign communications. President Correa of Ecuador said they might give him asylum, but now he seems to be going off the idea. On the one hand, the asylum request deserves to be considered, but on the other, it's quite another thing having a traitor who sold information to harm his own country for profit. You can't even consider giving asylum to such a person. Meanwhile, Mr. Snowden's revelation that the U.S. spied on its European allies has provoked fury. What are the consequences? First, this must end as soon as possible. I would say immediately. President Obama landed in Dar es Salaam today and found himself talking about not U.S. relations with Africa, but how intelligence services operate, trying to brush off the row by saying that, in effect, they're all at it. Uh, I guarantee you that in European capitals, there are people who are interested in, if not what I had for breakfast, at least what my talking points might be, uh, should I end up meeting with their leaders. Uh, that's how intelligence services operate. They may love the American president in Tanzania, but this problem is dogging Mr. Obama. His intelligence service is presumably unable to tell him where Mr. Snowden is going and what other secrets he may yet reveal.